Hello! Today we're looking at Touch Chat. We're going to talk about how we can create a new page and link that page to an existing page. So, the issue that you might run into is if you wanted to say, I want, I want, to drink, to drink, iced tea, but iced tea is not um, originally programmed into Touch Chat. We're going to look at how we can add a new page since this page is already full of vocabulary. There aren't any blank spaces. So let's walk through those steps. First, we'll click Menu, Edit Page. We'll click Menu again, Add a New Page. I'm going to name this page Drinks 2. You can name it whatever um, you need based on your vocabulary needs. So I'm just going to save this page. First thing I do when I create a new page is I load those three, um, those three buttons that are always along this side. So I click that, the button that I want to load something on. I can copy an existing button. Now those buttons are usually in every page. So I can just click on any page to load the Go Back button. Next, I will copy another existing button. I'm looking for Clear this time. I'll copy an existing button, and I will add the Home button. Okay, that's just to get my page um, ready to go. Now, I can go ahead and add any of the vocabulary that I need. So right now I'm looking to add iced tea. So I click the button where I want to put iced tea. I click a create a new button. I name it iced tea. Click done. And it'll automatically populate a picture symbol. Um, if you wanted to change it, you could click select image. I like this one. I think it's pretty um, transparent. So um, I'm going to just make sure that all the settings are how I want them. It looks good to me. It's going to speak the message because under button actions it says speech message. So I'm going to click save. Right now, iced tea is the only vocabulary I want to add just to keep this video short. So I'm going to click done. Now comes the harder part. I'm going to link that new, newly created page, drinks2, to my current drinks page. So I'm going to click menu edit page again. I'm going to change this water button to say um, more drinks. So that's where I want to add the link. So I click on the water button, edit this button. First I guess I'll change it so that it says more. I'm going to select the new image, change it to something that says more. I'm going to take out the speech message button action, and I'm going to add a new button action. So the one we're looking for is navigate. So I'm going to click navigate, and now I'll search for the page we created, which is called drinks2. So I'm not going to put an animation. You can if you'd like. Now I'll save it. Now I can click done, and we should be all set. But let's just try it out to make sure it worked. So I'm going to go home. So say I wanted to say I want to drink iced tea. Let's see if it works now. Just to double check. I want. I want. To drink. To drink. Iced tea. Iced tea. There we have it. I want to drink iced tea. So that's how you can create a new page and link that to um, an existing page so that you can add more vocabulary when your original page was all filled up. Hope this helps. Goodbye.